Now, Bjorn Brennan is Brenner rather is a lecturer at uh, the Swedish Defense University, and he joins us now live from Abu Dhabi for his comments. Uh, Bjorn, Trump's uh, signature, if I can say that, is really his confidence, and he said, you know, he can craft the ultimate peace deal. Realistically, though, what are you expecting? Well, we'll see about the expectations, but uh, let's remember that um, when Trump entered the White House, we all thought that he was 100% pro-Israeli, and the Israelis, of course, made this assessment themselves. The Palestinians, on the other, other hand, well, they made this assessment too, but on the other hand, they rolled up their sleeves, sat down and said, okay, we need to come up with a coping strategy here. And this is what they did, assembled a group of experts in, in U.S. policy, and uh, in the end, I mean, more or less what we see now is the result. We see um, a Trump that is, uh, the Palestinians deciphered more or less what we see now. A Trump that is somewhere in between, that is saying uh, either one state or two state. And the deciphering of, of this is, of course, that um, the, the, the two state is, is more likely as Trump is saying that both sides need to agree. Right. You're right, absolutely, because it did seem so clear that he was, in a sense, the best friend of Israel uh, when he was campaigning. But uh, then he also seemed to cozy up to Mahmoud Abbas when, when Abbas visited Washington. Do you think he can actually effectively cater to both sides and maintain credibility in these negotiations? Yeah, I think the problem now is that so up till now, Trump hasn't really played his cards yet. And maybe this is what he will do this afternoon during the speech in Jerusalem. And I'm sure that the Israeli leadership is very nervous about what, what he will say there. We could see during his speech in Riyadh that uh, Mahmoud Abbas was, was there sitting centrally placed in, in the room. And after Trump's speech, all of the uh, most of the uh, Arab leaders were saying that uh, the resolution of the Israeli-Palestinian uh, conflict is a priority. And between the lines, I suppose what they were saying was that there would be no normalization with Israel until the Israeli-Palestinian is, uh, conflict is resolved. Bjorn, just very quickly, I mean, all this is, is very clearly in focus now, but what happens when Trump returns to the, to the United States? How much will Israel and Palestine stay on the agenda? Well, the, the risk is that, that this is as much as, as what will happen with the Israeli-Palestinian conflict on, on part of Trump. Maybe nothing more will happen. Um, but nevertheless, I think uh, we'll, we'll see what happens during the speech. But, but nevertheless, I think the, the Palestinians here are somewhat the winners, being those who deciphered who Trump was, that is, um, a businessman that that uh, that you could do business with, but that okay. is not really on okay. one or the other party side. Okay, Bjorn Brenner, we're going to have to leave it there. Thanks so much for joining us from Abu Dhabi.